Managing Partner with Levinson and Associates. With us today we have Joseph Lapkin, our Marketing Vice President, and we have a, a special, uh, special training webinar today that will conclude our Index Universal Life Month here at Levinson and Associates. Um, if you think back or, or if you saw any of the previous trainings, well, what we did is our promise to you was if you watched all of our trainings and incorporated our new Index UL sales software system that you would sell at least one IUL starting this month. And if you were an expert IUL provider, say, that you would literally increase your business by 20 to 40 percent. So this is the last training of the month, and this will conclude our IUL month. And they always say you, you save the best for last, and I really uh, agree with that on, on for today's presentation. And, and the reason why, our special guest speaker is uh, Joe Ross, who I have heard him speak at uh, different industry meetings and uh, 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 NALBA conventions. And out of everyone that I have heard over my 21 years now in the business, uh, he is the best. And I think that everybody will agree with me by the time we're done. Um, I don't want to steal any of his thunder, but uh, uh, Joe is very, very knowledgeable in the insurance world. And he really uh, focuses on, on IUL on this training. He's going to give you some great sales concepts and fundamentals that work that you can literally take away from today's training and start making some more sales uh, by, by some of Joe's uh, thinking and his thoughts around IUL. So I promise you this will be well worth your time. We'll run for about 50 minutes, so just under an hour. Uh, we're going to give away a free 16 gig tablet to the 200th registrant. So we'll announce the winner at the end of the presentation. So right when Joe Ross wraps up, uh, we'll announce the winner. And I'll just say a couple things before we move forward. Uh, me and Joseph Lockren have about five minutes of slides we need to go over, and then we're going to introduce Joe for the main presentation. Um, but the reason why we wanted to have Joe come on the call and speak to our agents is A, like I said, he is the best in the industry on these presentations. Awesome, and even better in person, if you can believe that. Um, AIG is Joe's company, and, and the reason why we wanted to feature AIG, as we all know, they have a great household name. Um, they were also one of the first IUL carriers in the late 90s, so they've been around a long, large footprint in the IUL space. Their max accumulator IUL product is number one for cash accumulation, ages 40 to 59. You can put it up against anything. So if you want to jot that down, that's huge. And then, of course, underwriting. Uh, they're one of the best in the business. Their table ratings are about half of what a typical uh, table rating costs with a competing company. So uh, there you have it. Joe Ross from AIG, uh, great stuff to come. Okay, Joseph Lochran is going to talk about our upcoming agent training events, which is what you're on right now. We're going to touch on the IUL software that uh, we're getting to all agents uh, free of charge, and then we're going to introduce uh, Joe for the final presentation. Joe Lochran, you there? Yeah, thank you, Bill. I just want to touch base on a couple upcoming training webinars. As usual, these are all posted right to carrylevinson.com, so you can go and register. Uh, starting as soon as tomorrow, we're going over some custom annuity sales products. Uh, and then you'll see even after the 4th of July holiday, we've got some great upcoming webinars. You will be receiving e emails as an agent with these links to register. Uh, so be on the lookout for those. You can also go right to our YouTube channel and uh, basically watch over 125 different videos on demand. So keep your eyes peeled for those upcoming webinar links. Uh, you'll receive them via email right from the agency as soon as this afternoon. Okay, thanks, Joe. Okay, now, obviously, uh, this is an AIG webinar today, but I do want to mention one program that has to do with term insurance. If you have written any Banner Life term insurance over the last five years, okay, this is a great way to generate some new leads in production. 
so you can go back to those clients and write a new 25 year term program okay for up to the same face amount with no underwriting it's a guaranteed issue they don't even have an application okay it's a guaranteed exchange form so if any banner term cases that you've written uh, go back to them they're eligible to get a new 25 year term guaranteed issue we also have a program for orphan policyholders as well so if you're interested in that let us know and we will get you up and running and moving forward here so as you know we have brought out the first and only exclusive online term product ever sold in the industry so what this means it's a hundred percent client driven okay this means a prospect can go on your website or Facebook or uh, go on your email blast that you sent out they can run a quote from your website sign up online and the policy will get mailed directly to the client within 48 hours it's that simple rates are very competitive this is our infamous lightning term product we rolled out almost two years ago and the reason why we're talking about this today is we just came out with the level guaranteed version of this so the first product level lightning term okay is now guaranteed death benefits same competitive rates 20-year term commissions have almost doubled and we have a 10-year renewal stream that is huge in the term space as we all know so there's a three health question application takes about four minutes to complete 100% client driven also comes with a free scholarship so get up and running today uh, we have the state approvals that are actually uh, going through as we speak we'll have most of the states done by early next month so get up and running with lightning issue term we have the decreasing series and now the level guaranteed version okay so moving forward we're going to talk about the IUL challenge month and what you can win by writing indexed UL with Levinson Joe's going to give you a quick overview of the software and then we'll introduce our feature speaker Joe yeah thanks Bill so keeping in line with the IUL month I do want to touch base on the uh, the IUL software that we're actually giving to agents absolutely free uh, this is actually normally about a $500 value of course, if you're appointed with the office, it is completely complimentary. Uh, and basically, from our point of view and through what we've seen throughout the years, this is the simplest to use, uh, yet one of the most advanced comparison software, to, software tools that we've used. It literally compares the index UL plan uh, versus any sort of qualified, non-qualified 401k plan. It really breaks down the whole scenario for, for the client to understand. If you've ever sold from an IUL illustration, it can be a little bit challenging. So this really helps speed up that sales process. One thing I do want to point out, actually built in to the software, the client has access to consumer-approved videos on demand. So you can actually explain market risk and simplify the Index Universal Life Plan. So it takes that, that whole entire sales process from an index universal life standpoint really simplifies it and shows the clients the actual numbers that are most important to them, like what are the fees and, and risks that are associated with their current plan versus the index universal life product and all the tax advantages of getting into that index universal life plan. So that's definitely something, uh, if you're interested, we will send out an email after the call. You can download it as early as this afternoon and start using it in your sales presentation. Yep, and, and we made that it's very user friendly, very black and white, easy to use, and it simply compares the index UL that you're presenting versus the existing or even uh, could be a, a, a different uh, retirement plan, 401k, like, like Joe was saying, it compares both products side by side. At the end of the day, it literally makes the IUL sale for you when they see all the benefits and, 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 and the fees associated with the current plan versus what you're showing, it's a no-brainer. So make sure you get up and running, and again, there's no cost. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to introduce our a feature presenter, and definitely take out a pen and paper, jot down any notes that you might have. Um, you will definitely walk away with some great information today. That's my promise to you. So without further ado, Joe Ross. Joe? Thank you, Bill, and thanks to the team for the opportunity to talk to you today about how you can ramp up your indexed UL sales. 
my focus today is not on making you figure out ways that you can work harder. This is focusing on ways you can work smarter. One of the great things I love teaching agents about is how to increase their revenue per appointment so that on the same number of appointments you can make more money. Or if you're content making the money you're making today, you can hopefully make the same amount of money on fewer appointments and maybe play a little more golf. So what we're going to talk about today is how the, making the case for permanent life insurance. And, and this actually has two pieces to it. One piece is that a lot of agents find themselves in somewhat of a rut where for families that have children under their roof, they're uh, oftentimes finding that the only thing they can get through that sales process is a term insurance case. What I want to do is show you a, a conversation you can use to change those term insurance sales to permanent insurance sales. But then the second step is that oftentimes those permanent insurance sales are GUL sales, not IUL sales. So I'm going to show you a second conversation that starts to build that into an IUL sale. And this is largely driven by the fact that we all know that, the, that America is dramatically undersaved and that the vast majority of people approaching retirement today are extremely concerned that they haven't set aside enough money for retirement. And pressing on them is the idea that with the government deficits where they are today, people are running scared that the IRS is going to increase tax rates. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't think about, but if you are a retiree, and the government increases tax rates, does that mean you live on less income? The answer is no. Your bills didn't change just because the IRS raised tax rates. So here's what happens. You end up actually increasing your withdrawals from your portfolio because of the additional tax you have to pay in order to have the same spending power you had prior to that tax rate increase. And this is where the magic of Index Universal Life comes in. When your client has a substantial portion of their retirement assets in assets like Index UL, where there's absolutely no income tax on the distribution, then those tax increases become irrelevant to your clients. They don't have to worry about the IRS raising tax rates in the future. They still withdraw the same amount from their portfolio and maintain their purchasing power. So you take all of that and wrap it together. You can see why I'm so excited to talk to you today about how this all works, making the case for permanent life insurance. So I'll begin with a simple question. I like to ask, what comes to mind when you hear somebody say, hey, I just bought some life insurance? Now, I know that's not something that you hear every day, but imagine if you did. If you heard someone say, hey, I just bought some life insurance, what comes to mind? Well, for most people, the first thought that comes to mind is, oh, that's nice. They've protected their family. If he or she dies, they'll be taken care of financially. The question is, how many of you stop for a minute and think, wow, you just acquired one of the most tax advantage retirement planning products available anywhere in the country today. My assumption is that most people on today's call don't think that way, but the reality is the moment you make the decision to purchase life insurance, and more specifically, the moment you make the decision to purchase permanent life insurance, you have made the decision to acquire one of the most incredible tax advantage instruments available in the United States today. The question is, are you going to choose to use it? You own it, will you use it? So at the end of our conversation today, I want you thinking, well, that's nice. You bought life insurance. You protected your family. I also want you thinking, wow, you just acquired one of the most tax advantaged retirement planning products available anywhere today. So by the time we're done today, I want you to be thinking about both. Now, how are we going to get into this? First of all, Let's think about the, the core purpose behind purchasing life insurance. It's really a combination of two distinctly separate and different decisions. The first decision that needs to be made when a client thinks about buying life insurance is, how much money would it take for my family to achieve its goals and dreams if I'm no longer here tomorrow? This often leads to a needs analysis process where we figure out how much life insurance it's going to take to do that. Okay, so step one, how much life insurance do you need in order to achieve your goals and objectives? But then comes decision number two. How are you going to pay for it? 
do you want to own your life insurance or do you simply want to rent it? We all know the differences here. You can rent an apartment that gives you a place to live. Your rent can go up in the future and it most likely will. It could become prohibitively expensive over time and you never have any assets there. You never can sell that apartment and have equity. On the other hand, if you buy a home, you have a 30-year mortgage, your payments are level for all 30 years and then they stop forever and once that happens, you now own the home and everything in it and you can sell that home and have all the equity. This is what we're talking about. Do you want to own it or do you want to rent it? And secondarily, if you choose to own your life insurance instead of renting it, the question is, do you want to take advantage of these incredible cash accumulation benefits? So we're going to talk about how to answer both of these questions today in somewhat of a case study that will illuminate the power of index UL that you have today. So let's take a look. Let's start with decision number one. How much life insurance do you need? So how much would be necessary for my family to achieve its goals and dreams if I'm no longer here tomorrow? I have a sample case that I'm going to share with you. Meet Joe and Sarah Sample. Joe and Sarah, they're both about 40 years old right now. They're both making roughly $80,000 a year, so their household is kind of split, $160,000 worth of total household income. So this is a solid middle America family making a good income, should be socking away some good money for retirement. Well, let's learn a little bit more about Joe and Sarah. In Joe and Sarah's situation, their current estimated net worth is estimated to be $337,000. Now, this was not a ballpark estimate. This is actually a, a a client situation where we did the needs analysis and we subtracted their debts from their assets and because their home mortgage is still fairly significant it ate away at a lot of their their net worth so their net worth is 337,000 not unusual for someone at their age both of them would like to retire at age 65 and they would like to annual analyze what would happen if their retirement continued for 30 years starting at 65? So 65 to 95 of retirement income. Joe and Sarah both have some retirement plans and other assets. Joe has $150,000 in his employer plan. He's been socking that away from inception. Sarah has changed employers, and when she did, she rolled $62,000 into a traditional IRA, and her current employment has now built back up another $18,000 in her 401k plan. Aside from that, Joe and Sarah have $37,000 liquid between their checking and savings account, mutual funds, non-qualified investments, money that's liquid that they can get at quickly and easily if they needed it in the event of any kind of emergency or to take a family vacation, whatever the case may be. Last but not least, how much life insurance do Joe and Sarah have? Joe has nothing but group term life insurance. And what he did is doubled down. Basically, he has $80,000 through his employer for free, one times his annual income, and then he bought up another $70,000 so that he could have a total of fifty grand. It's all group term. Sarah, on the other hand, bought a $100,000 uh, standalone policy and is getting $81,000 worth of one times her salary as free insurance from her employer. So combined, they have roughly $321,000 worth of, or $331,000 worth of life insurance. So this is the backdrop of our case study. And based on this information, the, the, the uh, uh, needs analysis software that we're using is able to draw a picture of how much money you need and then how much money you have and what's your shortfall. And it draws a graphic for us that looks kind of like this. So on the left side of this graphic, you can see that Joe and Sarah need about $1.2 million of assets today to be able to take care of what their family needs to accomplish. About $375,000 of that is their mortgage and other debts, and another $820,000, the blue area, that's their survivor income needs. But when you look on the right, you get to see that they don't have that much money yet. In fact, what they show is the green bar at the bottom shows their $37,000 that they have in their liquid assets. Another, the yellow bar, $150,000 worth of life insurance under Joe. There's another, you know, $181,000 under Sarah, but this is just Joe's picture. And so what this shows for Joe is a shortfall of just a hair over a million dollars. Well, if Joe had a million dollars in his checking account, 
we wouldn't be having this conversation. He wouldn't need additional life insurance because his resources would equal his need and he'd have no problem. But Joe and Sarah, like most young couples, are dramatically short of what they need until they have time to build up those resources. So this is where Joe and Sarah sit. Joe is a million dollars short on how much death benefit he needs in order for his family to succeed financially in the event he doesn't come home from work tomorrow. So let's think about this shortfall. Think about what Joe needs life insurance for. And this is where we're starting into this conversation of term versus permanent insurance and, and the purpose behind permanent life insurance. So let's talk about why Joe would buy this life insurance. What is he trying to protect against? So what I have this split into is Joe's pre-retirement and post-retirement risks. In Joe's pre-retirement years, where he is today, 40 years old, young children under his roof, a large mortgage hanging over his head, a lot of years left of, of work, we think about what are the three most important things, I call them the big three, what are the three most important things that life insurance could do in the event Joe doesn't come home tomorrow? Well, we know what those big three are. First of all, it could make sure his kids go to college. Second of all, it could pay off that mortgage so his family could stay in their house. And thirdly, it could replace Joe's income so that his family could continue continue living the lifestyle that they've become accustomed to. In addition to the fact that if we can replace Joe's income, we can continue making contributions to Sarah's retirement plan so that Sarah will have enough to be able to support her in her retirement. But what's unique about this is that I've drawn all three of these lines sloping downward to the right. Why did I do that? Well, because when you think about it, all three of these risk exposures become smaller and smaller as Joe gets closer to retirement. By the time he retires, he has no income left to replace because he's not working anymore. He probably has paid down or paid off his mortgage, and his kids have most likely already gone to school. So these three risks, the primary reason the pre-retirees buy life insurance, tend to get very small and even completely go away by the time you reach retirement. And that's why a lot of us sell these clients term insurance, because all we have to do is get them to retirement. The question is, what are the risks in post-retirement? Let's take a look at those. There's three in particular that I want to focus on. Risks that retirees face that are different than pre-retirees. The first risk we'll talk about is their financial risks. Every retiree knows that they face stock corrections, interest rate reductions, tax rate increases, all of these financial issues that can affect their ability to sustain their portfolio. The second big financial risk that they face in retirement is health care costs, which we know what's going on there, and the cost of health care continues to rise at a rapid rate. And then thirdly, they have this concern about reduced Social Security income. When one spouse dies, there will be a reduction of at least one-third of your Social Security income benefit, up to a maximum of one-half of your Social Security income benefit. Now, this is not a Social Security tutorial, so I'm not going to get into the details of how that happens, but just know that you will lose at least one-third of your Social Security income when one spouse dies, and you can lose up to one-half of your Social Security income when one spouse dies. The question is, who's going to replace that income? When my dad passed away four years ago, the Social Security checks coming into their house went down by over $15,000 a year. Now, if my mom lives another 10 years, she's already three years, four years into it since my dad died. If she lives another six years, that'll be a total of 10 years. That's $150,000 worth of Social Security income that my mom and dad would have been counting on that my mom no longer receives. And where's that going to come from? And what I did here is intentionally drew this graph so that all three of these lines are rising over time because all three of these financial risks get larger and larger over time. The question is, how do retirees protect themselves against these risks? A term insurance policy that terminates at age 65 or 70 simply can't do it. But in today's modern life insurance policies, especially with AIG, with our guaranteed universal life, where we can add the chronic illness rider, which I would argue is the industry's best chronic illness rider, for those of you who haven't heard a lot about it lately, we just eliminated the requirement for permanent impairments, making AIG's chronic illness rider the only indemnity-based chronic illness rider on the market today that pays temporary claims. So 
very powerful chronic illness rider, and we have a longevity insurance rider that says even if you're in perfectly good health, you can put your entire death benefit in your checking account and spend it on these financial risks to keep yourself financially secure in retirement. You can't create that kind of financial security with term insurance. You can only do it with permanent insurance. So let's talk about a, a permanent life insurance strategy we could put in place for Joe. Let's build a life insurance portfolio. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on these earlier risks that Joe's confronting today, but I'm not certainly going to ignore those long-term risks that he needs to be concerned about in retirement. So here's the strategy I'm going to put in place for Joe. I'm going to suggest that he start with a $400,000 GUL policy, and where it says in brackets that includes AAS and LIS. What is that? AAS is called Accelerated Access Solution. That is the name for AIG's state-of-the-art chronic illness rider. LIS is the name for the Lifestyle Income Solution Rider. That's the rider that allows you to liquidate your death benefit at age 85, even if you're in perfectly good health. So I'm going to give Joe a base of 400000 This is going to create a $400,000 death benefit during his pre-retirement years, and then a $400,000 pool of money that Joe can access during his retirement for chronic illness, or if he's in perfectly good health, but his portfolio isn't doing what he had hoped it would. Now, I'm going to layer on top of that some laddering. Joe needs more than $400,000 of life insurance. We determined that he needs a million dollars worth of life insurance, and he needs it now. But he doesn't need it at that level all the time. So here's what I did. I layered on top of this $400,000 permanent policy a $300,000 30-year term policy. On top of that, I'm going to layer another $200,000 20-year policy, and on top of that, another $100,000 10-year policy. And when you add these all up, Joe starts the day today with a, a full million dollars worth of death benefit. But every 10 years, the amount of life insurance drops off. And when he does that, the amount of premium drops off as well. So let's look at the premiums for this package. In Joe's case, the $400,000 GUL policy will cost $285 a month, and that will continue until age 85, and then all premiums will stop. That policy will be paid up. The term policies are $45, bucks, $26, bucks, and $14 bucks a month. So 10 years from now, Joe's premiums will go down $14 a month because that $100,000 term policy is going to go away. 10 years later, $26, $26 a month comes off of his expenses because that $200,000 policy will expire. And then 30 years from now, when Joe reaches age 70, that's $45 a month for that $300,000 term and per policy will expire. And then at age 85, the $285 a month permanent insurance premium will expire, even though the death benefit remains in force all the way to age 100. So this would be a strategy I could propose to Joe, and that would take care of him. But this is not an indexed UL strategy. This is a GUL strategy. Now let's think about what we could do for Joe and Sarah. Clearly, they're not at the point where they've saved enough for retirement. They need to be putting away more money. Putting that money into something that's fully taxable at retirement might not be the best choice. We will offer them a tax-free retirement alternative, but let's show them how we do this. All right, so first of all, a little bit of a tutorial. We're going to talk about the basics of GUL. How much true life insurance do you pay for or do you have in GUL? When you took your insurance licensing exam, you probably saw a grid kind of like this. And what it showed is that over time, you build cash value in a life insurance policy. And your true life insurance is the difference between your cash and the total death benefit. So if you had a $100,000 policy with $20,000 worth of cash value in it, if you died, the insurance company is essentially giving you back $20,000 of your money and $80,000 of theirs. And the beauty of universal life is that as your cash value grows, you're actually purchasing less and less life insurance over time. And that's what leads to the cost effectiveness of universal life. But as this graphic indicates, with GUL, you don't build much cash value. So you have a lot of life insurance. And that means, in the long run, a lot of cost. What we're going to do is talk about the difference between GUL and indexed UL. If you're talking about accumulation-oriented indexed UL, you're actually trying to get as much cash accumulation as you can. 
watch these dynamics at work. What happens in accumulation IUL is that you build this cash value. And as you're building that cash value, what's happening to the true amount of life insurance? That's right, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller over time. In fact, in the simple diagram I've drawn here, look here, we actually reach a point where the cash value equals the death benefit. Now when that happens, how much life insurance do you have left? That's correct. Theoretically, you have no life insurance left. And what that means is you have this cash accumulation machine that has all of the tax advantages of life insurance without any of the cost of life insurance. The question is, can this actually happen? Can you actually get a life insurance policy to the point where there's no life insurance, just cash, but you have all the tax advantages of life insurance? The answer to that is yes. Under the cash value quarter test, that the IRS uses in, in life insurance, the policy's cash value can actually equal the death benefit at age 95, and after that point, you can literally have no life insurance mortality costs at all. This is the goal that we're reaching for with your clients in their indexed UL portfolio. Now, this is what happens in any cash accumulation uh, universal life insurance policy. What I want to do is focus our attention specifically on index UL. And I'm going to tell you a story about how you can show your clients the power of the indexing strategy we have in index UL. All right, so the first thing I want to talk to you about is what I call my up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. This is what the market does. The market goes up, the market goes down. So if I were to ask you, if your client invested over a 10-year period of time, and during that 10-year period of time, the market went up 10% the first year, down 10% the next, up 10% the next, down 10% the next, and continued doing that for 10 years, what would you calculate as the average rate of return? Well, if it went up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10, if you did the math, the average rate of return would be zero. So your clients are out there thinking, if I have a market that's down 10 every year, I'll have a net average return of zero. The reality is that when the market goes down 10%, it, makes, it takes more than a 10% increase to get the market back where it was. So if you have an up and down, 10% up, 10% down scenario, here's what actually happens. Your value goes up 10%, down 10%, but it produces a progressively downward sloping value. And so in this client situation, at the end of 10 years of going up and down by 10% and producing an average rate of return of zero, it produced an actual rate of return of a negative 5%. They went from 100,000 down to $95,000 in value. This is what happens to investors in a market that, and again, this is a hypothetical scenario. The market never goes up 10%, down 10%, up 10%, down 10%. The reason in my explaining this is to help dramatize to your clients how impactful these market negatives are and the fact that market positives have to exceed market negatives in order for your client to get back to break even. Now let's take this one step further. Let's talk about what happens if your client protects themselves from those downward turns in the market with an indexed UL strategy. So in this next graph, we're going to have the exact same up and down, 10% up, 10% down, 10% up, 10% down, but we're going to apply a 10% cap and a 0% floor to get kind of the feel of what happens in indexed UL. Now what happens? When the market goes up 10%, your values go up 10%. In the next year, when your market goes down 10%, your value stays level for a year. And then the next year, when the market goes up 10%, you go up 10% again. And that produces a line that looks more like this. Up 10, then level for a year, then up 10, then level for a year, and then up 10%, and then level for a year. And it produces an upward sloping line. So that at the end of 10 years, you went from $95,000 to $161,000. Ladies and gentlemen, these two different scenarios occurred in the exact same market cycle. But because indexing protects your clients from those market losses, the exact same market cycle that in an unprotected investment strategy would have left them $5,000 lower than what they started with, 
an indexing strategy with CAFs and floors could have provided them close to double what they started with. So you can start to appreciate the significance of the value of index UL. And I know you all know this story, but it's just another way of painting the picture for your clients. If you have a four-function calculator, you can walk through this on a legal pad by saying to your client, okay, what's $100,000 plus 10%? Okay, that's $110,000. If you lost 10% the next year, that would be 90% of that. So let's take 10%. And you can build this whole thing out right in front of your client's eyes on a legal pad with a four-function calculator. But it really demonstrates the power of indexing. So let's get back to our story with Joe Sample. In our strategy with Joe, we were going to ladder these three term insurance policies on top of this guaranteed UL. What I'm going to suggest is that instead of buying this guaranteed UL policy that has literally no cash value, we'll suggest that Joe purchase an indexed UL policy and let's show him what could happen if he did. Now this is going to at first seem like a crazy recommendation, but wait till you see this one unfold. I'm going to suggest that Joe, instead of spending the $285 a month he would need to spend for this $400,000 GUL policy, I'm going to go out on a limb here and suggest that instead of contributing $285, Joe contribute $1,000 a month. That would be an increase of $715. Now, at first, Joe looks at that and thinks, why would I pay an extra $715? Well, Joe, it's because it's going into this tax-sheltered cash accumulation engine that's going to provide you with a retirement income that's totally tax-free. That's why. Let me show you what this can do for you. In my example, I'm going to assume that Joe continues contributing until retirement. And in my case, I'm going to assume that retirement is age 70. I'm going to assume that Joe needs the extra five years from 65 to 70 so that he can accumulate as much as he can. And secondly, so that he can get the maximum social security benefit that's available at age 70. And then from my index UL policy, after contributing $1,000 a month, we're going to then show tax-free distributions for 25 years after that. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where you'll have a hard time believing your eyes, but this is what we are offering to our clients using index UL. So here's the analysis. Here's Joe, male, age 40, preferred non-tobacco user, buying a $400,000 death benefit. Let's compare the contributions, the total accumulation at age 7, and then the retirement distributions that he could get from his GUL to what he could get from his indexed UL, and then let Joe think about this. All right, so let's start with the GUL. With his GUL policy, we were paying $285 per month times 12 months per year, times 30 years from age 40 to age 70. Joe will invest $102,600 to that policy. With AIG's policy, we're one of the only index, uh, guaranteed UL policies on the market that actually has guaranteed cash value. But it's not a lot. At age 70, after paying $100,000 in premiums, Joe will have $12,000 worth of cash. Now, you and I both know that with only $12,000 of cash in a $400,000 policy, you can't start taking retirement distributions. There's simply not enough money there. So if Joe goes forward with his GUL recommendation for that $400,000 part of his puzzle, he won't get any additional retirement distributions from that policy. My recommendation or my suggestion was that Joe purchase the index UL where he would spend $1,000 a month times 12 months times 30 years. That's a total investment of $360,000 over that 30-year period of time. But look what Joe gets in exchange for that. Instead of $12,000 of cash value, he gets a projected $922,000 worth of cash. And that turns into over $1.8 million of projected tax-free retirement distributions coming out at the rate of $73,000 a year for 25 years. Now, if you're noticing, this is an enormous difference. What I'm saying here is that when Joe purchases permanent life insurance, he purchases an incredible tax shelter. The question is, are you going to use it? Joe could have invested this other $715 into mutual funds and gotten taxed along the way, 
he could have invested it in his 401k and gotten totally taxed on every dollar that came out of his 401k. Here, he puts that extra money here, and he gets $1.8 million income tax-free during his retirement. And what I like to do in this comparison is do what I call the on-the-margin analysis. What's the difference here? So this last column, we do that analysis. Joe spent an extra $257,000 in premiums. And in exchange for that, he got an extra $900,000 worth of cash and an extra $1.8 million worth of retirement distribution. And you might be thinking to yourself, holy mackerel, what kind of an illustrated rate did you use to produce those kinds of results? Ladies and gentlemen, I projected this at a 6.06% .06 illustrated rate, which is based on the AG49 illustration rules for index UL policies. This is the current illustrated rate for our index UL policy under this strategy. So this is not some outrageously high 7, 8, 9, 10% illustrated rate. This is essentially a 6% rate of return illustration. Now let's really bring it home. If if Joe wanted to invest this extra $715 a month into some other form of taxable investment, and he wanted that $715 a month to produce $73,000 worth of retirement cash flow, he would have needed an internal rate of return of 7.26%. Now that's 7.2% after tax. If Joe was in a 20% tax rate, or pardon me, a 25% tax rate, he would need a taxable return of 9.68%. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the question in front of Joe's sample today. Joe, would you prefer to spend $285 a month and have no retirement cash flow from your life insurance policy at all? Or would you invest an extra $715 a month to provide yourself with $1.8 million worth of tax-free retirement income that in order to achieve this kind of result, you would need nearly a 10% taxable equivalent yield? Joe, which is the better way for you to invest? aiming for a 10% rate of return or only needing a 6% rate of return in a strategy that eliminates all of your downside market risk. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the power of the index UL products you have in your hands today. Hopefully this is something that resonates with all of you to help you see that your clients purchasing permanent life insurance have purchased one of the greatest tax shifters on the planet. And to bring it all home again, this takes us back to where we started. When I asked, what comes to mind when you hear someone say, I just bought some life insurance? I want you to think, wow, that's great. You protected your family. But I also want you thinking, wow, do you realize you just acquired one of the most tax advantage retirement planning products available anywhere today? The question is, are you going to use it? So hopefully this gives you some insights into how you can package your index UL in a way that you can call out on your appointments and instead of offering your clients a simple term insurance policy where their premiums are low and you hardly earn any income for the advice that you provide, that you can now step up your advice, give your clients not only life insurance but retirement strategy in a tax sheltered environment where they have upward growth potential without downside risk and uh, show them how to create a truly powerful retirement strategy in combination with the life insurance they need today. And with that, that's how we make the case for permanent life insurance. Or as I like to say, this is how we unleash the power of index to UL. And with that as my formally prepared remarks, I'm going to turn the control back over to Joe Laughlin to be able to put a ribbon and a bow on today's conversation. Joe, take it away. Thank you very much, Joe. I, I, I think that everyone will agree now that was awesome and one of the best presentations that, I, in my opinion, we have seen this year. So a special thank you to Joe Ross. Uh, thank you very much for spending the time with us this, this afternoon. I hope it was uh, 
as valuable to you guys as it was to us. Um, if you have any questions, comments, give us a call or email. We're also going to send out an email to every participant that was on today's call, and we'll include some of these great uh, facts that Joe Ross uh, touched on. And 